Hey everybody, how you doing? At my brother's backyard today. Uh, got some targets down yonder. See, I got my 30-30 uh, that I uh, refinished. I want to try and uh, get that at least sitting on the paper right here, and then I'll move back to a more reasonable yardage. I just want to make sure I'm hitting it. I did a uh, laser bore sighted, but I've laser bore sighted a couple for my brother too, and he shot his, and they're not hitting where they should be hitting. <laughs> so. I come up here a little bit closer to give it a shot. Uh, let me give you a shot of this 30-30 uh, in the sunlight. She is all refinished. Looks pretty good, I think. I like that scope on it. It's the same kind of scope I have on the 4570. I'm using some Federal 170 grain fusion bullets. Can you give that a try? It's all I could find, so that's what I gotta use. <laughs> yeah, that finish turned out really nice on that. Turn that side over. The wood is really nice, super smooth. Down range, that's the target. Gonna put it on paper and see what she does. Well, trying to try and shoot. That target's been there for months and months, but the second I come over here and try and want to shoot, wind blows it right over. <laughs> so that's just how my day's going so far. <laughs> Hopefully this works out all right. To get this on paper anyway. Look like you shot. It hit three or four inches high, dead center. Can't complain about that. <laughs> I don't think I have to shoot that again. <sighs> Just down there further, but it's hitting paper dead center. Just a little bit, a little bit high right now. I'm gonna take one more shot just to make sure that wasn't just shit luck. <laughs> because that went off. That trigger is a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. Not the most comfortable spot here, but try it one more time. of the dot a little off to the right this trigger boy let's go pretty good I want to take one more shot and hold it 
a little bit more steady. I think I'm gonna have to. This chair is going halfway sliding down this hill, so I'm not sitting in this chair very well. And all kinds of excuses to give you. And get really comfortable and squeeze one off here. That's almost right with the first shot. That was a nice hold over. Held that one nice and steady. That was pretty good. So it's shooting a little high and it should be at this range. So I'm gonna call that good for that one for now. I did bring another gun. I brought my uh, 30 out 6 semi automatic. That trigger, I am surprised with that trigger. It's nice and light, very light. Especially for a lever action, I'm surprised. Really nice trigger on that. Barely have to squeeze it at all and it fires when you're not even ready for it. That's pretty much how you should be doing that. As I say, you know, you at least expect it to go off, but you're slowly squeezing it. It's the best thing to do. back there afterwards. So that was the 3030. 170 grain fusion bullets. And here, 30 out six semi-automatic that I put a scope on and stuff. I ordered a DNZ. Mount ring base, medium height. I really like these. My brother has one on his Bagara and it's uh, easy to put in and it's really solid. And um, you know, hardly any windage adjustment once you uh, put that in there. For a laser bore sight, and I barely had to move a thing. I put his Bagara together for him. And I got a nice burst. This is a two and a half to 10. Full field. Eliminator radical. Could be a really good scope for a semi automatic. I will commence to putting that gun together and I'll show you what she looks like when she's all done. Well, there she is, all set up. This bore is two and a half burrs. Here it is, nice burrs, two and a half to ten. That's a medium height right there, and I've given that much, so I don't know if I went to a, a low, it would have gave me enough clearance or not. And I just went with my best judgment, so to medium. And now I'm gonna get some of those flip up caps for the edges, so that'll give me clearance for that too. But the scope is good, so the bore sided it, laser bore sided it, and uh, she's ready to go. A good, good moose gun. Sorry if I'm talking kind of loud. <laughs> I got the headphones on still. All right, there she is. See that? Really good shape. Put this Burris scope on it. Took it apart and it looked like it hadn't been barely been used. There's hardly any dust, dirt, there was no rust. Really good shape, so hopefully she does well for me. These are fusion 165 grains, 30 out six. Let's see how this works.
fire safety. All right, flip up cap for this one. And I want to set it full power, so it's two and a half power. Two and a half to 10. And I know where those other bullet holes are. So see what happens here. This chair, going right downhill. See what happens with the 30 6 here. Safety. Kept pulling on that trigger, so what in the heck? <laughs> Safety. <laughs> All right. So that's it's gonna go up. Up to the right. See how that does. She is a little out of focus, I'm gonna adjust that. That one come up quite a bit. It's almost as in there. It's a little bit to the right, but I'm not going to adjust right, left right now. I just need it to come up a little bit more. Oh, yeah. A couple more inches, probably. Let's see what we got. It's up high where I want it now, and I just got to move it to the left. Just a couple of clicks, actually. Almost there. Just need to move it a couple more. Same direction. That's good enough for uh, where I am. Since tweaking it back here, it's close because I have more ammunition. I don't know, 100 
yard. That's not bad. I'm gonna grab all my grab all my brass now and uh, go take a look at that target. Probably have to put up another one for the hundred yards. 30 30 is up first. We're on 86 yards here. 30 30 will be the top target. 30 06 will be the bottom target. One thing I can tell you right now this 30 30 trigger, this Marlin old 336 Marlin 30 up, uh, 30 30, has incredible trigger. Pulls really nice, barely touch it. I mean, you're just pulling on it and it fires right off almost like I said before without you even realizing it was going off. The 30 out 6 on the other hand probably supposed to be a more expensive gun semi-automatic but that trigger is like pulling a rock. It is a uh, not a pleasant trigger at all to pull back. You keep pulling and pulling and waiting for it to go off. Like, what the heck? <laughs> it's like pulling back a rock. So trigger to trigger I like the Marlin way better. Yeah, gotta put the glasses. I always gotta put the glasses on first. Oh, good these glasses are. All right, thirty thirty. Batter up. This is by far more than any range I got in my tree stand or anything else. So get her dialed in at this range. I'll be happy. I'm just gonna look down range. I only got six power, so it's gonna be a whole different world from where I was. How is that? 36 yards before, now my 86 yards, so it's a big difference here. center dot on the scope takes up almost that whole dot down there and down range now it's a big difference Let's see what I go I'm going for the top one Take a ride down and go look at that target. See where I'm hitting. Let that barrel cool down a minute. So I cannot see where I'm hitting. My eyeballs are just terrible. I do have a spot and scope in the house, but I'm using this tripod here to video the shots down range. So I can't use it for two places at the same time. So I'm just gonna bring that down an inch and a half. And uh, the bullet holes are, I don't know, half an inch at the most away from each other. So this gun is shooting awesome. I am very impressed with this thing. I'm gonna take a shot. I mean, take two shots. See where this goes. But this gun is shooting awesome. And it's trigger is awesome. And I refinished it and it looks awesome. <laughs> well, I am very happy with this so far. Do what I can get here. I mean, watch that trigger. The trigger is very sensitive. It's probably like a two or three pound trigger. So you gotta be right where you wanna be when you start touching it because it goes off pretty quickly. Unlike the 30 out six, which you gotta pull and pull and pull. seen it on the video camera long well, before I'll get to see it but I don't know <laughs> that one kind of went off before I was ready to but we'll see I'm trying to hold it there I haven't shot in a while it's my excuse bad excuse I'll put one more shot down there and go look at it again and hope that's where I want it and get that 30-06 going. I only have one box of 30-06 sales, so 
That ain't good. Take a ride back down there and look at them because I can't see from this distance at all. Not at all, at all. <laughs> My age as expected, I guess. Well, I'm back again. That gun shoots very well. I've never seen a 30 th you know, lever action shoot this accurate before. This thing is shooting awesome. I cannot complain at all. I got it two inches high right now. I want to drop it down on probably another inch. I want to have it uh, a little high at 100, but I don't want it two inches high. I don't expect to shoot anything over 100 yards away with this gun. If I reach out just a hair more, 125, 150 yards. You know, this is all I've ever expected this, this gun in this caliber to do. But the way it's shooting, I don't have any problem with worrying about shooting the shot it is accurate and the trigger I love the trigger so I'm gonna drop that down well, that's cooling down I'm gonna drop it down probably another inch about two inches high I want to have about an inch high oh, I'll, go. I'll take this one shot and I'll probably give one more follow-up shot and uh, this 30 30 should be good I was just dropping it down, sinking it into the, about a one inch above 100. She's two inches high right now. I want it about one inch high, and that'll be perfect. I can hold a shot. Gun can do it, that's for sure. Only I can do it. <laughs> it's real rock solid and still here. Pull one more shot down range with it, and I think as long as they're where they're supposed to be, make sure there's no birds and stuff in my bullets. I always do that. All right, let's see what we can get with this last one. I'm on the bottom target now for that 30-30. Did perfect. Went down a little bit. Both shots are right close to each other again. They're a little bit to the right, but that could be just me. Could be the barrel heating up a little bit. I'm not sure. But either way, can't ask for anything more than what that's done already. Now I'm going to heave hole with a 30 up 6 and that heavy trigger. See if I can shoot anywhere near close to that. I don't even know. This Marlin, when I refinished, did an awesome job. Did an awesome job. I have no doubt still do what I needed to do when I'm out in the woods. Probably gonna be my tree stand gun in uh, that camp and across the road here. I'll try and get another deer. My first deer I shot was with the 3030. My father's Model 94. When I had way better eyesight, it was open sights. <laughs> but I want to get one again this, hopefully this year, and with the ability to get two deer. I'd like to get a doe with that 3030. And I am not sure what else I'm going to use. The longer range, maybe this 30 out 6. I don't know how it shoots. More than likely, the 7 millimeter Magnum, I gotta shoot that still, but I want longer range for that one. Or my trusty uh, Browning 308 X-Bolt stainless steel. That thing shoots awesome too. But I don't know how good I'm gonna do with this. The trigger's just nowhere near as good as that, that Marlin is. So we will see. That's all we can do, right? Give it a shot. My best. There's no burrs on burrs on the bullets. Here. 
rigger is just atrocious, honestly, compared to that Marlin. Atrocious trigger compared to the Marlin. There, I've said it. <laughs> I had to say it. Got on safe. I can see first, boy. Boy, pull any trigger. Just want to scoop this like this anyway in case it accidentally goes off. Can't wear those glasses because they keep fogging up. I need to find a better pair of just cheap plastic ones. But we'll see. We'll see what we got here for. The thing about this scope is more powerful scope, 10 power, so I can see down there better. I can seem to hold it all right, so I'm gonna give it a shot. See my heart rate moving up and down. Going for the bottom, bottom target here. Yes. No idea where that hole is. It's pretty sad. Yeah, I should do it. In theory. Let's see if we can hold this one. Get her in there where we need it. This trigger is way harder. <laughs> oh, that trigger is horrible. You're pulling it slowly, you feel it creeping. This ain't going off. <laughs> it's horrible. That trigger's horrible, absolutely horrible. Yeah, pull the thing almost off your target. Turn out loud, let it go. You gotta really be stiff with that, holding it. So 30 out six is finally shooting decent. I shoot way more than I wanted to, but it's Achilles' heel is his trigger. The trigger is easier to pull. I'm sure you'd be more accurate with the gun. This trigger is absolutely horrible. Horrible trigger. To the point where I don't even know if I'm going to keep the gun because I like to have my gun fairly accurate and reliable and it's, that trigger is so hard. I mean, if you're close to 50 yards, you may not be too bad, but this is 86, 87 yards. And you got to be pretty tight on holding it there. To um, feel feel secure, you know, feel confident with the shot, as opposed to the that Marlin 3030 lever action. That trigger is so light, it was perfect. I mean, just I mean, sometimes it, more than once it went off when I wasn't ready for it. It's so easy, it's so light. This is the complete opposite. It's like pulling back. I don't know. It's got to be eight eight pounds at least. I bet you that 30 30 is two or three pounds, probably three pounds, right around three, maybe. This is eight anyway, maybe 10. It's horrible. And that, that just kills you trying to be accurate. 
accurate with your shooting. You know, a good brush gun, pretty close, 50 yards or something. You know, when you, it'll definitely, I mean, I'm hitting uh, two inches high right now. I'm gonna drop it down right now. I'm gonna drop it down in a month, another inch, and then just leave it at that. Because it's dead, dead center right now. Uh, but I just need to drop it down because I don't want it quite two inches high at a, not even at a hundred yards, 86 yards right here. I'm going to drop it down. Drop it down an inch right there. That's exactly where we need it. It's all closed off now. If you want a close range, moose gun, deer gun, something like that. You're within a 50 to 100 yards, that's all right. You know, as long as you can hold it steady. Usually when you see a deer or something, you're all jacked up anyway, so you, you do all right. But for, for target practice, when you're trying to get one MOA or less, that trigger is just, <laughs> you can't use it. It just don't work. So I don't know. I might trade her in for a bolt to action. I mean, I kind of like semi-automatic, like to have one, but the triggers are that bad on them, I don't know. I like to be accurate. Get spoiled with the 30 out 6 I mean, yeah, get spoiled with the, all the other bolt actions, I guess. And then that lever action, that's even way better than the 4570 trigger. The 4570 trigger is still pretty tight, pretty stiff, not as bad as that. But 4570 is probably five, six pounds. But it goes off decently. But that Marlin, this, that 30-30 uh, I was shooting, that's beautiful. Very happy for that gun. I refinished it, so I'm kind of proud of that. This one, on the other hand, I love the scope and stuff, but I might trade her in for a, a bolt action of some kind in a 30 6 or 270. We'll see. Well, I apologize, too, for... Uh, that long range camera I had watching that target, um, I didn't realize the battery died on it the last couple of shots with the 30-06. Uh, when I first put that battery in, I checked all the batteries that I had, and that one said I had 129 minutes on it. So that should have been plenty. I wasn't out here, no 129 minutes. But uh, it died on me as I took those last shots, so of course. But uh, anyway, I shot one at the low target where I've been shooting for the 30-06. It hit about two inches high. So I decided I want to shoot at the top target where I shot the 30-30, just because to, there was too much, too many bullets down below on that 30-06 target. So I shot that, and it again went two inches high, you know, almost dead center. So it's shooting two inches high at, at roughly 100 yards. So I just adjusted my um, scope to go down one more inch, so it'll be an inch high at 100 yards. So it should be fine. I didn't shoot it again that way, but. Everything else is working all right. It was dialing in okay. So I just brought it down another inch. So it should be an inch high at 100 yards. And that should be right where I want it. It's uh, warmed up quite a bit. So probably shoot 7 millimeter rim to Magnum. Um, I don't know, in a couple of days or so. We'll see. We've got to check out the weather. See when there's a cool morning or something. And get that outside and fire that up. It's never been fought, shot before by me. I had to send it back when I originally bought it. Because it wouldn't shoot. And it's a brand new gun. Sent it to them. They said the in the bolt the something wasn't turned out far enough, so the firing pin wasn't coming out all the way. And I could have told them that because that's exactly what. I mean, you shot it three or four times, and the firing pin wasn't even hitting the primer. So, but they fixed it. They sent me a a bullet. You know, obviously a spent cartridge that had a primer that had been shot, so the gun had been fired and worked. So, kind of excited to try that and try that trigger that's got a trigger tech trigger in it so it's supposed to be really nice but we'll see i appreciate y'all watching and uh hopefully get some more videos on for you soon